I figure I'll let you guys watch the end of this print. I should probably mention as well, one of the reasons I print this coin is because it's very easy to measure and calibrate. Since I changed the belt on this machine, the only the Y belt, I had to recalibrate it. And when you do that, you change the, the steps it needs to take. And this coin is really good for that because it's, you know, it should be flat on all sides. And the teardrop would come out much different if it wasn't calibrated. So I went ahead and refined the the x-axis as well, and I re went ahead and reset the uh, the y-axis. So they should be two different values because they're two different belts. Uh, theoretically, they should be the same if it's the same belt, but that's not always the case. So always measure and remeasure your belts. Over time, they might have a way of settling in. So yeah, it's a good idea every once, every uh, couple weeks to recalibrate your machine just to make sure it's in tip-top shape. And this is a Maker Gear Plastruder with a Maker Gear hot end, 0.35 on orange PLA, three millimeter PLA. And this uh, PLA comes from Alta Machine, my only resource for PLA. There it is. It's uh looks pretty good. So just as good. You know, I went I would say just as good on the uh, on the actual geometry. It looks perfectly symmetrical. Don't see any calibration problems. Uh, the layers are a lot thinner because this is a thinner nozzle. Uh, some end of the some of the infill can have some work, but that's not a big deal. That's all software. Okay, so there it is. I actually designed that coin. It's on Thingiverse. You can download it and print it yourself. Talk to you later.